Man, oh man, when you got it, you got it. And let me tell you, I definitely got it. Hey, what you got, bed bugs? You better watch out. Look, those little suckers are nasty. In Nam, the bed bugs were so bad that you'd wake up on the floor because, hey, they'd toss you off in the middle of the night. There's so many things wrong with that statement, sir. Si. I'm talking about having it, the gift, the talent. I am the duck call builder extraordinaire. Oh, good grief. Here we go again. I'm just saying. You ever wonder what perfection sounds like? It sounds a lot like this. It's like poetry for the ears, isn't it? Oh, come on. Hey, I'm just trying to teach our new intern, John Luke over there, a thing or two about duck calling. Gentlemen. Hello, Willie. Party pooper alert. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, that's funny. What's going on in here? Let me guess. Working hard to complete that order for the big boss. Nah. Shocker. Actually, I was just showing the ropes to young John Luke over here since he wants to work with us someday. Hey, I'm all about that. But you know, it doesn't take just a strong work ethic. In order to succeed here, you have to be a well-rounded Robertson inside and out. Well, mostly out. As in outside. That and an awesome beard. You'll get there. Just listen to us. That's right. Look at Cousin Bo over there. He was in your shoes not too long ago. Wanted a summer job and whatnot. That's right. I was exactly where you were at. Didn't know anything. Hey, what's changed? It wasn't easy. He had to bust his tail, learn everything he could about being a full-blown Robertson. Not listen to Jace. And eventually, he earned his stripes. Now look at him. Bam. Now he gets to be as miserable as the rest of us working under this tyrant dictator. I wish you would actually work. Anyway, CB, help out old John Luke here if he has any questions. Definitely. You need help? I got answers. Tell us, CB. What's it like working amongst the duck call community's most elite? Si, stop picking your nose with that. You're going to hurt yourself again. Hey, when you got a bugger way up there, you need to dislodge it somehow, or it'll dam up your nostril like a beaver dam. And hey, eventually, you'll never breathe again. That can't possibly be true. I think I got it. But where'd it go? I lost it. Phil? Hello, Phil. Hey, Si. You got something in your beard there. Looks like you got a beard burger going on there. Hey, found it. What are you doing up here, Phil? Well, your mama sent me up here to get y'all's help. We're getting ready for the big dinner Sunday, and I could use some assistance from you boys in hunting and whatnot. Ducks, squirrels, frogs, you name it. If you kill it, we grill it. Know what I'm saying? Hey, you don't have to ask me twice. I'm in. Although I'm usually opposed to skipping out on work, I actually think this could be a good opportunity for John Luke to learn the ropes. If you want to work up here one day, you're going to need to be a well-rounded Robertson, starting today. Hey, the more the mayor is what I always say. And the more food we get, the more happy everyone's going to be. Let's do this. John Luke, you can come with me. You need to learn Duck Calling 101 taught by none other than the best and most handsome duck caller in the business. Yours truly. Glad to see you haven't lost your modesty, Jace. All right, see you boys over there. What about our order? We got to finish it. We'll do that later. The commander has spoken. Yeah, Willie, we'll do it later. Hey, John Luke, I'm going to come with you guys. I can give you advice and help out however I can. Si, you have something in your beard. No. Yeah. No. Yes, you do. No. Oh, wait. You're right. Another boogie. The dam has been broken, boys. They just keep coming. Si, that's nasty. Hey!
So a call is made up of a series of notes. The key to a good call is hitting the right note at the right time. Here, I'll show you. Now you give it a try, John Luke. That's good. See if you can do a couple more feed calls. Try not to miss any notes. Good. That's some fine calling. Now you've learned the feed call. You can use this call to get ducks that are right above you to land near your decoys. Hey, there's some ducks coming in. See if you can call them and we'll take it from there. Quack, quack. I think I hear them. Get ready, Jace. Ain't gonna find a better shot than Jace. Well, except for Phil, maybe. Tell you what, John Luke, I'll let you do our calls for the rest of this hunt. Why don't you help Jace out and call ducks in for him to shoot? Get ready, Jace. Get ready, Jace. Nice! All right. I think that'll do for dinner. Let's learn how to shoot. We're gonna walk over to the range. All right, John Luke. Let's start with the basics. We set up some bottles for you to shoot. Take them down one by one. You've gotta aim down the sights to get a bead on your target. Not bad. The bottles ain't ducks. For one, ducks like to move around. We're gonna throw some bottles in for you. Try hitting them on the fly. Try waiting for the bottles to get close to crossing pass. It'll make it easier for you to hit both of them. Good. We're gonna try something a little harder. This is like bowling when you've got to hit that 7-10 split. Shoot one bottle, then pull out and aim down the sides to hit the next bottle. You'll snap to it quicker than just keeping your cheek on the stock. This is the fastest way to move your shotgun sights from one side of the blind to the other. Hey, where's Si? 
Si, you trapped in the truck? Unlock the door and pull the handle. I guess he's not coming. Okay, John Luke, let's hunt some ducks. First thing, you gotta keep an eye out for them. Look for a flock. Shoot him up. That's all right. You'll get the hang of it. All right, I'm gonna keep quiet. You try calling them in and shooting them on your own. Let me teach you the greet call. When you see ducks further in the distance, you need to use the greet call instead of the feed call. It sounds like this. <laughs> Try it out on the next flock. Look right at the flock you want to call in. That's some fine shooting, John Luke. My tutoring's starting to pay off. Hey, where'd Cy si go? All right, John Luke, get ready for the squirrels. That rifle's gonna be a little different than your shotgun. Namely, you've gotta be more accurate. Get those sights right on the squirrel and squeeze the trigger. Nice shot, John Luke. You got him. Ooh, right out of the tree. Nice shot. That's dinner. Only a couple more to go. That'll do it. Let's head out. John Luke, head this way and come meet me up with us. Whoa, whoa. I hear something. Do you hear that? Yeah. Sounds like trickling. That's right. And it ain't the kind to do in the toilet. That's the sound of a downed up creek if I ever heard one, which means one thing. Beavers, Jack. I can definitely hear it. Si, do you think this is the way to the big beaver dam you found? What do I look like, a marigold best pussy? Honestly, Si, I don't even get that reference. John Luke, we'll pick you up at the dock. Looks like we're gonna do some beaver killing. We're driving, you're shooting, hurry up. They started to build a dam here. Too bad for them, we discovered it. Look at that. I knew them little suckers were around here somewhere. They were trying to be sneaky and quiet, like ninjas. But we got them now. Now we gotta get these rascals out of here so we can blow up the dam and keep the creek flowing. They're trying to hide. Don't let them get to the reeds or we'll lose them. John Luke, on your right.
John Luke, on your left. Over there on the shore. They're trying to flee. Don't let them escape. Good job, John Luke. Let's turn back and see if any of them are still there. Here they come! Only a couple more! Get those little suckers! They retreated into their dam. Time to get the dynamite. Hey, John Luke, if you want to be a Robertson, you got to know how to fish. I, for example, am an excellent fisherman. Phil himself said I'm the best fisherman in all the Robertson claim. I didn't say anything like that at all. Hey, Phil, didn't know you were on the radio. Everyone knows Phil is the best fisherman in Louisiana, but I'm second, right in front of Jace. No, that ain't true either, Bo. Better than Cy? Not by a long shot, son. Let's just skip down the list and just say I'm a better fisherman than Missy. Well, by the power of grammar alone, I'll grant you that one. I'll take it. The key to fishing is increasing your odds. First, you gotta find the right spot. Second, you gotta cast your line. A lot. Getting a big fish is a mix of planning and luck. Start by throwing the line where the fish are biting. If you miss your throw, might as well pull it back and start again. When the bobber's in the water, only try to hook the fish on a bite, not a nibble. Otherwise, that fish will back off and you'll have to cast again. When you get a solid bite, hook him. If the line gets too taut, it'll snap. Follow the fish and only reel in when the fish ain't running. Follow the fish to keep your line from snapping.
fish come in all different sizes. Keep casting to see if you can get a bigger fish. Sometimes it pays to change fishing holes. Thinking we got some swamp gas going on here. Not exactly Moby Dick. That one will fry up good. That one was feisty. Don Luke, I just got off the phone with your dad. Sounds like they need some help. 